Do you know the feeling of being paralyzed like mentally and not being able to do something to get out of the dark hole that you just fell into? You feel like you're spinning around with no way to go, no solution in sight, just a dark desperation that you're gonna be left out from all the good things because everything that you do is not comparably as good as you see other people doing. It's a feeling that you're not good enough to achieve something in life, to actually be able to get something done or follow your heart and soul, like actually doing it. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Probably if you clicked on this video, you are feeling stuck in your life or you have ever in your life experienced that. So if you want to know how to get out of this dark hole that I was just talking about, stay till the end and you'll find out. When I'm feeling stuck, I feel like I'll never get a good idea again. Like everything I do is just pointless to the degree that I don't just, I don't see the bright light at the end of the tunnel. But I also know that I cannot stay in this state forever. And even though it might seem easier to do that, I know I can't. But how do I eventually get out of there? It's difficult, but there's nothing that make, can make you feel better than overcoming this apathetic state of mind and being back on track again because who doesn't like that? And probably the most challenging thing about this is to know how to deal with it over and over again. Because I'm not even trying to talk myself into believing that this will not happen again in the future, because it will, and that's pretty sure. And the most effective way how to deal with being stuck or getting stuck is to develop a system that will work every single time and make it easier and quicker for you. So how do you do that? Well, for the first step, you have to recognize that you are stuck. You have to know that you are stuck. Because if you don't recognize that, it will be really difficult to get out of it if you don't realize what the main problem is. There are some possible patterns that occur and then I know that this is probably the stage where I'm stuck. For me, mostly, it is when I procrastinate my work for studies or whatever work I have to do endlessly. And every time I sit down, to do this because I know I have to do that, I end up doing something completely different. It's really important to watch out for several patterns like being passive, just being in the state of consuming things instead of doing things or creating things. For example, just browsing through social media or just watching Netflix or YouTube and not really trying to get something from this or trying to learn from this, but just absorbing things without thinking about this. It's also about not having the drive, like an inner drive to do something. You probably also feel pretty unmotivated to do something. And because you are pro most probably procrastinating through doing these passive things, you may not even be able to meet your deadlines. So this can also have like really bad results to your life or to work. So all in all is probably that you are not feeling an urge to do something. And if you have figured out this first step, this is the first step to self-consciousness. What I also see a part of mindfulness, which I think is really important in our lives. And if you're interested about this topic, I will also link a previous video that I did about this up here. Through mindfulness, you are also able to think about your own state, what we just talked about. And also you are just gonna be able to ask yourself, why exactly am I in this position? It's really important to think about why you feel like this because you don't want to actually be in this state, right? You, no, nobody wants to feel powerless and like motionless and not feeling like doing anything. So the next step on getting back on track is to figure out why you feel that way. So because you, in the first step, you already figure out that you are stuck, that you are in the state. Now you just have to figure out why is it like this? What is the reason exactly why are you not able to do something? What I think is really helpful is to write down your mood, your feelings in a journal. And while you write, the reason will probably just emerge and your state will get much clearer without you even thinking about this. Because when we write and without thinking about this, this is the important point, just write what comes to mind. You probably will see what, you know, what the knot in your mind is, what is obstructing you from doing something. And it's also about not giving yourself restraints and not trying to 
you know, like make a cohesive text or something. Just like writing down all your feelings or your thoughts is really, really helpful because sometimes we're not even aware of what we are thinking, but if we put it on paper, we finally see it and that way it's possible for us to find a reason behind what is happening to us. And you also feel better because this is like talking about a problem with someone. If you get it out of your mind, get it out of your brain, it's gonna, it's gonna feel much, much better. And when I write in my journal in that moment, I really see what is, you know, like what I don't like about something that is happening in my life. Maybe I don't really feel the work that I'm doing in a group work, or maybe I just feel like I'm shit at everything. And that's also, something that's also a reason and there are endless reasons why you can feel stuck so these are probably things that really matter to you because you want to do a good job you want to get better at something but something is just not clicking in that moment and you're just not gonna get further and maybe in that moment when you're writing things down there's something else that will reveal itself and what seem to be more important to you that matters more to you and that you want to pursue because you just realize the other things are not that important for you. Even if you know exactly what makes you in this apathetic, emotionless state, doesn't mean that you're gonna get back on track because apparently this thing doesn't make you feel good. So it's a good idea for me and probably for you as well is to give yourself some time before you address this problem. So that moment I really do something that I feel like doing or wanted to do for a long long time. This should be something that really brightens you up that but you know like sat in like long time in yourself that you wanted to do that like maybe you wanted to do a DIY project or just wanted to go for a hike for a really long time and this thing shouldn't really drain a lot of energy from you like mental energy or will to get to do this because this is the important part that it should be something that is easy for you because you are already in this, you know, like powerless feeling that you are not able to do anything or that you are not not able in a sense that you don't feel like you're able to do something. So finding something that makes you really like brighten up your day or really make you feel good in that moment is really, really helpful because this will be something that probably will inspire you more or you will get more motivation from it because you did something that you really like to do. And I try to give myself a limited time span for this, not to get in this lazy state of not doing anything for weeks or for days, but it's more like an afternoon or an evening, um, yeah, or even a day or two to really do this thing that really, that you feel you need to do, but then you have to take action. Right after this thing that makes you feel good, you have to do something. It's also a good idea to have an accountability partner to tell someone, hey, I'm gonna take this afternoon off, but like tomorrow, tomorrow I will get back to work. I will work on our project or I will deliver something to you. Have I will have a deadline. And this will force you to finally get your shit together. And as I just said, it's not about being lazy for days or weeks. Like some people maybe know, like I know this feeling. And this is not a great feeling because then it's even more difficult to get out of this laziness stuff, laziness feeling of not doing anything but it's more about giving yourself like a short time to catch up your energy to find this inspiration and find this drive again and sometimes it's really just the best idea to do something completely different from your day-to-day -day life so this thing of doing something that you really like can be really the spark of your motivation again we still have to find the motivation to do it long term So creating or adapting your routine will really help to structure your day again or have a structure from new. And if you're interested how I structure my days and how I plan them out, I also have a video about this and I will link it up here so you can watch it after. Because maybe you don't do something in your day to day life that you just admire or that is your passion. So it doesn't really matter what you are doing in your life, but even Sometimes if you do something passionately or you really, really like doing it, there's lack of motivation. And then it's really important to find the thing or the little things that really inspire you or that really motivate you and make clear what your goals are in this specific area. Or maybe you even have to change 
your goals or adapt your goals. Sometimes giving up one thing to pursue something different that maybe you may be more successful at is just the best decision you can make. For a long time, for example, I wanted to get better at drawing. I wanted to practice drawing like once a week, like I tried it doing once a day and then once a week, but I didn't never get the motivation. I didn't, even if I set myself goals or smaller goals, I just always felt stuck. I didn't know what to do. And after that, I tried to find motivation for a long time and several times, I just didn't find a deep reason why I should do that. Finally, I just decided that this is maybe not the thing that I want to pursue and shifted my focus to different things. Also, if I'm, for example, stuck on my architecture project, I just remind myself that I actually want to do a good design. I want to deliver really interesting and nice drawings. I want to have a nice concept. But also I know that I don't want to let down my team members or that I don't want to repeat the semester because I just gonna fail. What I do then is I look at our projects, I look at our representations and I then really find inspiration again. I find the motivation that I just really want to do something really great like this as well. I also know that this needs time and effort and which I wouldn't have if I didn't get motivated again. Sometimes I'm also stuck with my videos and I just don't have any idea or, it, or I just feel that I'm just too bad and I'm just never gonna achieve something with that. But then I know that when I'm not gonna continue doing it, I will not get better. So I try to find motivation, find inspiration in nature with music or with other people and then and then if I if I see the beautiful things that can happen, I just am motivated again. And of course, there are different sources of motivation for each of us. They were just my examples, how I deal with them, but for you, it's probably way different. You have probably different sources of inspiration and motivation. And if you don't know them, it's time to find them. And this is really the best thing you can do to keep going and to find your motivation again and again. It's also really crucial to have something. The goal that you have is that it's something that really matters to you and that's not something that you don't really care about because if you don't care about something, you won't get motivation from anything. Even if it's the most inspirational thing, you won't get the motivation to do something that is just dreadful and you don't feel like it, like never. Sometimes it also really helps to divide your goals into chunks and not trying to do all of them at once. Because if you have like smaller goals, it's much much easier to yeah, get over the overwhelming effect of a huge task in front of you or a huge goal. And it's also really motivating if you have smaller goals and you achieve them step by step because this will show you that, oh, I'm not really not doing anything. I'm sort of doing this so I can also do this and this and this. And if I have the several goals done, I'm gonna be finished and this is a good thing and last thing here is also to write down your motivation like why are you doing this why do you want to get better what do you, why do you want to finish this project why do you want to why do you want to do this what you're doing because this is really important and if you write this it even has more power than if you have when you think it and if you write it down it also makes it much clearer you have to formulate it and maybe the motivation will be much clearer or maybe your motivation, you will be more aware of what your motivation actually is. And I think it's really nice benefit that if you have your motivation written down, you can, you can always come back to this motivation of the same goal if you're working on the same thing. The next time you feel dispirited, you can come back to it and the reflections that you already had last time really can make you get your motivation faster again. So the last step is to put your words into action. Because writing words down all the time, writing your reflections down doesn't really bring you anything. You really have to get going and have to start doing something. So the last step is really actually to get rolling again. This definitely sounds easier than it is, believe me, I know that. But if you've done all the steps I've mentioned before, I guarantee you that it will work for you as much as it works for me. In the final step, it's essential to get under that cold shower and just do it because you make the first step and the water starts flowing over your head and at that moment you already made this first step into action and you've already come so far and you might as well just keep going and just like after a culture you will be freshened you will have more motivation again you will have new energy and new inspiration find a way back on the path that you were on towards the goals you're motivated for 
So to summarize the five points I mentioned in this video, first thing you should do is recognize that you're stuck. Then figure out why you feel that way. Third, do something you feel like doing or wanting to do for a long time. Fourth, find your motivation again. And fifth, put your words into action. And the last thing is probably the most important one. It is normal for human beings to have ups and downs and I definitely can approve that because this is something that happens a lot to me. But the most powerful thing is when you know how to deal with the downs and, and this will make you stronger, more resilient and more confident. And of course I also hope that this video made it clear that you can achieve that too and that you found value in it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get notified when a new video comes out in the future. And if you're interested in living a mindful life and being more self-conscious, I really um, think this video here would be really interesting for you and helpful. So yeah, I hope I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.